So when we left off, I was talking about how we're going to need to find a desert so we can get some sand to smelt the glass to smelt the glass panes to trade with the cartographers. And also how I'm going to need to put a building around this villager breeder. Uh, let's start out with the more grindy task of trying to find a desert biome. Alright, biome found. It's not actually a desert, but it's got enough sand for now, and uh, I'll find a desert when I really, really, really need a desert. This this has plenty, especially since my shovel's on 13 durability. That is enough for an insane amount of glass panes, and I did that all with an iron shovel. Wow, yeah, that was that was not that was not fun. But um when I get diamond diamond gear at least, I would love to have enchantments on it, but that might not happen for a little while. Anyway, I'll come back to this area and get the rest of the sand out of here. For now, um Oh oh my god, I almost died. For now I'm just gonna go home and smelt this stuff up. Holy cow, that's a lot of sand. Now for the other task, which is building a building around our villager breed. Well, here it is. Not not the prettiest on the inside, um, because everything's in the basement. Uh, we've got our nice village breeder down here. Uh, yep. That's about it. And after around half an hour of trading, this is our new emerald pile. I did some expanding on my trading hall over there, off camera. And I also got some books of fire aspect. And uh, I think it's time to start putting together my diamond tool set. Which means it's time to collect some levels because I kept falling down my mine shaft and dying. So I lost most of my experience. Two creepers. Right, right. That was so ironic. <laughs> I'm so glad it missed my chests, but seriously, it just blew up my house completely. Not completely. Ah. Uh, well, it's definitely not the best, but now we've got mending on our pick and mending on our sword and some fire aspect on our sword as well. So, yeah, that's that's good enough for now. Now, unfortunately. I think I'm just gonna have to take most of this down because I'm trying to level up my armor and he needs a lot of diamonds. Emeralds. <laughs> so now I can get diamond armor from a villager, which is really amazing, in my opinion. So after a bit more trading, I've got my protective pants, and my magic cap. I have been putting this off for far too long. I hate the nether, but we must go there. All right, in we go. Uh, 
Well, we're in another wastes biome, it appears. Which is good if I want to set up a gold farm. Doesn't look like a very dangerous place. I don't see any guests, and there's no fortress nearby, which is a blessing and a curse. Sense if I want to get wither skeleton skulls and or blaze rods. I'm gonna have to need to find one of those, but for now, this will do just fine. Now that I've gone to the nether, I also need to set up an iron farm. That's on the agenda for this episode. And I was thinking one that was like really, really small because I'm probably not gonna need a ton, a ton of iron. But um, there's a design by Avomance that I'm gonna slightly modify. I'll leave a card on the screen for that video now. And um, I think, yeah, it's, it's really efficient and um, so I'm gonna use that. No, stop it. No, I can't build my iron farm there. I'll have golems spawning on the roofs. Okay, no. We're gonna have to clear some space somewhere else. Um, so maybe on the other side of my house. So I put off the iron farm again. And I decided to make another building. And this is where I'm going to store my emerald stack. Because that one's a little short, so I made a really tall building. So that when the, the stack gets really tall, it's going to be just fine. Alright, well that's a good start. And with that, I believe that it is time to go and mine. Not the best on the diamond front. Uh, we got a butt ton of redstone and some iron, which is going to be helpful since I slacked off and didn't do my iron farm like I was going to. And we got some lapis, which will be helpful once I got my um, to get uh, my enchantment table up and running. And yeah, some coal, a lot of gravel. We need a chest just devoted to redstone at this point. Put all of that in there. Visiting the nether again, I need to find some soul sand for my water elevator, because I'm tired of climbing ladders. Really? Really? That was not great. Just need to find a little bit of soul sand. Yes, a beautiful soul sand valley biome. I really only need one of these, but I'm going to take a little bit more than that. Just in case. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here alive. <clears throat> Made it back alive, luckily. So I believe to make these bubble elevators, you just have to sort of make them 
like a tube and then fill it with water and put soul sand at the bottom. Well, tube complete. Now I just gotta put some signs in. Right here. Um. All right. <clears throat> and now I don't have soul sand. Oh my god, that took forever. But I finally have it in place. And I am really happy because that ladder was taking way too long. Let's just test it out. Oh, that's so fast. I love that. All right. Next thing on the agenda. We're going back into the nether. We're going netherite mining. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Dead end. So let's try it over here. Nope. See, the challenging bit isn't getting the netherite. It's finding a place to mine for it, not falling into a lava lake. Yeah. Alright, so how about over here? Oh my goodness. So I mined to level 15 and I'm about to start the video and I'm like... Wow, okay. That's just too- Ah! No, 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 Ah! I'm beginning to live lose hope. Yeah, I've given up. Thou does not know sorrow until thou have lost their stuff in the nether. Does everyone like my poetry? <laughs> uh, I'm so sad. All right, but at this point, it is, yes, it is finally time. I, again, have been putting this project off for far, far, far too long, even though it's only episode two. I really need an iron farm. I'm desperate for iron. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to make an iron farm. Let's get this started. So I didn't record myself putting the zombie and the villagers in and the zombie took about two hours so I think I'm pretty happy that I didn't record that because I would probably just have to delete it anyway because it took so long um and uh with that I believe that I'm going to go afk for overnight so we'll see how long that is and then we'll see how long or how much iron this chest has in it after that All right, so if we just open this chest up, that's that's quite a bit. Um, I'm going to use this for many different things. I have actually two different villagers that will trade for iron at the moment. <clears throat> so, wow, that's going to be helpful. But, unfortunately, that is going to be a task for another episode. But, one more thing before I leave. So, about 
two weeks ago, uh, I asked everyone what they thought I should do for my my 50 subscriber special. So, um, here I am, and I've picked out a comment. This is the one I like the best. Uh, it's, I like it for two reasons. One is it references Hermitcraft. Um, and I like Hermitcraft, so just so you know. Uh, reference Hermitcraft if you want me to pick your comments. And then two, I like it because it's ambiguous. So, uh, I get a little bit of free, free, uh, movement space to do what I want. And how I have interpreted this is, I am going to pretend to be Grian for the entire episode. And I'm going to try and not break character at all. So be prepared for that. Lastly, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing and watching, mostly. Um, every time I see a new subscriber, I'm like, like, you're not only promoting me in the algorithm, you're also inspiring me to make more videos because I am like, yes, another person is watching my channel and wants me to put out more videos. And that inspires me to make another video. So the more the more subscribers, the more videos. It just every time I see it go up, I'm like, yes.